I'm gonna build a fully working app using nothing but plain English. And watch closely because by the end of the video, my app is going live and fully functional without writing a single line of code. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another AI video. Today we're diving into Replit, the platform that lets you build real production ready apps just by typing what you want in natural language. That means vibe coding on desktop, on mobile, and turning your ideas into real working apps that connects to tools you already use. Replit offers database, auth, UI, collaboration, and deployment in one place. So instead of learning 15 different tools, you can just build. And by the way, if you want to start vibe coding and also get $10 in Replit credits when you purchase Replit Core, you can use my referral link in the description and pinned comment below. Let's get into it. To get started, head on over to replit.com and go ahead and sign up and sign in at the very top. This is going to go ahead and land you right inside your workspace. From here, you can just tell Replit what you want to build and it's going to go ahead and start getting to work. Okay, so let's build an app from start to finish. So here's my idea. I want to create a customer feedback portal that virtually any business could use. So here's my prompt idea for this one. I'm just going to go ahead and drop it in. I want to build a customer feedback portal. Users should be able to submit feedback, which gets stored in a database, and I should be able to log in to view the responses. Now, if I'd like to, I could also include an attachment so I can upload a file, import a Figma design if I'd like a particular design style, or import an existing project. I'm just going to keep this on default for now, so we're just going to cancel out here. I can also select the theme as well. So I have this on auto theme. Again, I'm going to keep things on default. I can also select the specific app that we're going for if I want more of a specific focus. All right, let's go ahead and click on start chat. Right away, Replit's going to go ahead and analyze our request and get back to us. All right, so here we go. We've got a response and this just reads a customer feedback portal with submission forms and an admin dashboard to view responses. So this all looks good to me. And then we have the following features. So we have a little breakdown here. This all looks good to me. Of course, if I wanted to adjust this plan of action, I could go ahead and click right here. But again, I'm liking how this sounds. All right, I'm going to come to the bottom and we do have two choices here. So it has created a feature list based on our request. Everything looks good. We can start creating and how would we like to continue? So it can either build the entire app right away or it can start with a design. So I actually want to start with the design just to get the design prototype fleshed out. And then we're going to go from there. So let's go ahead and click on start designing. All right, so here we go. We've got our feedback portal and right away it is looking super clean. I'm going to come over to the top here. It looks like we have an option to switch to dark mode. Yes, we do. So this looks pretty good to me. All right. So on the left hand side, it just reads that it has created a customer feedback portal with a clean professional design, which includes a public feedback form and an admin dashboard as well. Now, before we go any further, I actually want to go ahead and keep iterating on the design. So I'm just going to go ahead and punch in a follow up here. Let's say that I want to pivot with my overall look because I actually have a wellness business that I want to use this for. So here's my follow up prompt idea. I want to essentially redesign the customer feedback portal for a modern gym brand. I want to keep the same functionality, but I want to style it with a dark fitness theme. I want to have neon accent colors, bold topography, and a subtle gym inspired background with rounded buttons, a small local placeholder at the top, and a motivational footer like Stronger Every Day make it look premium and energetic. Let's go ahead and punch this in. So Replit has completely redesigned our feedback portal with a bold gym slash fitness theme. And here's what's new. We've got the premium dark aesthetic, energetic design elements, and a motivational touch as well. So first impressions, this is much more the kind of style I was looking for. It is super clean. I love the neon glowing accents here with the button. This is definitely akin to what you would see in a modern kind of a gym. So this is much more what I had in mind. We have a nice little footer section as well, stronger every day. I'm very happy with the design. Now let's go ahead and move into the next stage of building out the functionality. So I'm gonna click right here. Now this is pretty cool. I just see that it's actually testing our portal right here in the chat. See, so it is actually filling out the form in real time. I'm just gonna enter in my details and give this a test. So I'm just gonna enter that in right now. Let's go with general feedback. We have a few options here. Love this gym, it's super clean. 
Okay, I'm just gonna scroll down. Let's go ahead and click on submit feedback. All right, feedback received. We've got your message and we're on it. Stay strong. So there we go. I'm just gonna have a closer look at our app by clicking over here and opening this in a brand new tab. Here is our customer feedback portal in its own little tab. Now I'm gonna go ahead and access the admin portal by adding slash admin at the very end of the link. So let's go ahead and do that. We've got our admin portal. So Again, this is looking super clean. And if I come down to the very bottom, I can see all the different submissions for direct feedback. So I can see a few for myself. And then there are a few test ones as well that Replit went ahead and made just to test everything out. Now this admin dashboard is looking just as clean as our main app there. So I'm very happy with that. All right, now we're gonna take this even further because I wanna make my app talk to the tools that we already use. Now I wanna authenticate this with my Google Drive. So here's my follow-up prompt for this one. Whenever a new feedback entry is submitted, I wanna automatically save a copy into my Google Drive inside a folder called Customer Notes. Let's go ahead and punch this in. All right, so just as anticipated, I'm gonna connect with Google Drive right at the bottom here. Okay, let's continue to Google Drive, choose my account. We're gonna select all and continue. Okay, it looks like our Google Drive integration has been completed and the testing has been confirmed as well. So Repli just went ahead and entered in this piece of customer feedback. So this should show up in my G Drive if I go to my Drive and find the customer notes folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. I have my Drive selected. Let's have a look. So I'm just on my Drive and here we go. We've got customer notes right here and here is a document. Let's have a look and here is that exact feedback. So it can easily be accessed there as well. Okay, I'm also gonna go ahead and test this out myself though. We wanna make sure, super clean. Okay, we've got our name, email, love the gym, super clean. Let's go ahead and hit submit, feedback received. And let's come back to our drive. And here we go, we've got two pieces of documents. Is it the first one here? Nope, it is the second one. Let's have a look. Yeah, here is my piece of feedback and it works instantly and seamlessly. And we're gonna move on to the third demo. We're gonna jump into AI integration. So we're gonna integrate with AI without needing API keys to open AI, Gemini, nothing like that. We're just gonna enter in a prompt. So here's my idea. I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste. I wanna add an AI feature that analyzes customer feedback sediment and generates an email ready summary with key insights and suggested improvements for the business. So let's go ahead and punch this in. All right, so Replit's gonna add the AI powered sediment analysis feature to our admin dashboard. But first we need to check out for the AI integration. So I'm gonna go ahead and confirm confirm and approve the OpenAI integration needed for this request. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so to test that out, I'm gonna enter in a constructive piece of feedback. I'm just gonna make up a brand new name. So we'll say Sam, let's go with, because we can keep the same email, no big deal. I'm gonna go ahead and click on improvement and here is my piece of feedback. I really enjoy the atmosphere and the trainers are super supportive, but the weight area gets overcrowded during peak hours and it's hard to get on the squat racks. If possible, it would be great to add more equipment or introduce a sign-up system during the busiest times. So I'm gonna go ahead and punch this in. Okay, feedback has been received. Next, I'm gonna log into the admin dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this right here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and open up a new tab. Okay, so here is our generate AI insights button. If I come over to the top and I click on that, it's gonna analyze all feedback and it's gonna display comprehensive insights in an easy to read format. So let's go ahead and try that out. Let's click right here. All right, so we've got our AI insights report. Overall, the sediment is positive. We got a 70% rate. That's pretty good. 30% negative though. And we do have a very aesthetic and easy to read system here. So we've got some key themes in terms of direct feedback. So perhaps the weight area is a bit overcrowded, need more yoga classes. There's some locker room issues, but we have supportive trainers. We have a clean gym environment. New equipment is appreciated. We've got some urgent issues here. So things that are needed to address right away. And then we have suggested improvements and we even have an email ready executive summary that we can copy and send to management. This is some really, really cool stuff. So this goes ahead and address the feedback and makes a recommendation on what we can improve. And then again, we have each of our feedback submissions as well. And again, everything is looking super, super clean. I'm very impressed with this feature that we added to our dashboard. Let's quickly jump back to our feedback portal and click on publish at the very top. So we can add our custom domain after publishing our app. Everything is ready 
to go, whether we want to publish it as public or private if we just want to share it with a couple of team members. So let's go ahead and click on publish. Okay, here we go. We've got our domain link right here. Let's copy it. Let's open it up in a brand new browser. And here is our app all ready to go looking extremely clean. So that was super, super simple. All right, now it is time for some final thoughts and pricing. Replit gives you the power to build real production ready apps using plain English and connect them to tools you already use. Whether you're starting a business, building internal tools, creating a side project, or just experimenting with ideas, you can take an app from concept to reality quickly with Replit. And if you want to start vibe coding and also get $10 in Replit credits when you purchase Replit Core, you can use the referral link in the description and pin comment below. With all that, good luck and have fun with your building.